Alright, welcome to 5 Minutes in the Box. This is February 17th. Um, this is brought to you tonight by Barstool Sports and also, of course, the Pat McAfee Show starting next week. It's already on iTunes. Go download it. Give it a 5 stars. It's going to be great. Uh, Alright, topic number 1 tonight. Pens versus the Blue Jackets. There's only three games, so light schedule tonight, and we don't really care about Colorado, Florida, Carolina, Anaheim. Unfortunately, they are not as good. Uh, the Pens tonight, I jinx the shit out of them, unfortunately, by watching them. Every time I watch them, I know they do worse or lose. I knew it was going to happen. I tried the anti-jinx. I said, Bobrovsky, he's not going to get a shutout. I said, yeah. Good luck on the shutout tonight, Bobrovsky. I thought the anti-jinx worked. The Pens scored literally seconds after I said it, of course. But that motherfucker was just too good, and he was great again in overtime. The Pens didn't really put a ton of pressure on him since, since then, but uh, he was really good up until that point. So in the end, we just came up against something we couldn't really deal with. People know how it happens. Every once in a while, this motherfucker does what he does tonight and only lets in one goal. Sergey Bobrovsky! You're too reckless, Bobrovsky! Right in it! Brian Boucher. Alright, so Bobrovsky fucked us. Not much we can do about that, unfortunately. We'll take a point. We got to overtime. That was a good part of the night. Okay, topic number two. Flurry. 372 career wins. He stood on his head last night in overtime. Three on three. Made unbelievable vintage flurry saves. He's got a cup. He played for. He participated in another one. Um, he deserves respect. He's not Osgood. He's better than Osgood. Uh, my buddy did say to me that he can't believe the Penn still have a $5.5 million backup. He's either the best at ever at company morale or he gives good handy in the shower topic number three three on three is the best thing to happen to the NHL since Crosby and Ovechkin a brilliant motherfucker said that a few years ago I don't remember his name absolutely agree three on three hockey is fantastic except in the all-star game unless they give a shit they didn't this year it wasn't that good 3-on-3 three three in the NHL, regular season, amazing. Don't go there in the overtime in the playoffs, though. Overtime in the playoffs is the playoffs. Leave it alone. Topic number four, the Sharks. Pretty much under-talked about this year. They are leading the Pacific. Burns is going off. He's got a little talk. 61 points in 58 games, including 25 goals, which is unbelievable at this point of the season. He's leading the team... Uh, the only one really close is Pavelski. He's got uh, 52 points. And then there's Thornton and Cooter have uh, 38 points only. So Burnsy and his beard are really fucking up the league. They're on a hell of a run here. I hope they can uh, pull off and make her back. I'd like to see them again in the cup final. Uh, back to back. Penn's wings was awesome. Back-to-back -back pen sharks without a twist ending would be awesome. All right, last topic of the night. Um, a brilliant idea from the boys at Spittin' Chicklets. Um, the Lecoq shirt, RA with the idea originally. Everyone helped work on it from there, it sounds like. Brilliant shirt, gotta be on sale at Barstool soon. Um, big shout out to Grinelli, RA, and Wit. That was a phenomenal idea. Lecuck, I didn't even realize he'd been cucked twice by him. Terran, holy fuck, man. This guy is going to need some therapy. He's going to need people reaching out around him. He lost his job twice to the same guy. Tough, tough stuff, man. All right. Lecoq shirt still happening. Wit said you're a dink. Welcome. Tomorrow we'll see you again.